Hi, I'm Brad Mignani from Cisco High Touch Technical Support. In this video, we're going to cover some basic troubleshooting for unified messaging, also known as single inbox. This video assumes that all configuration steps have been completed, including creating a unified messaging service on Unity Connection, assigning all necessary users to the unified messaging service, and configuring proper service account permissions and access on Microsoft Exchange or your Office 365 portal if using the cloud. There are two places to test the unified messaging configuration in Unity Connection. It's very important that both tests pass before you can expect the feature to work. The first test is located on the unified messaging service itself. The UM service is responsible for accessing Exchange mailboxes on behalf of the users to create, delete, and update voicemail's read and unread status. Navigate to Cisco Unity Connection Administration Unified Messaging Unified Messaging Services and choose the configured service account you want to test. Here we'll click the test button. As the output mentions, this does not test all aspects of the integration. It's a basic test that primarily does two things. One, confirms connectivity to a domain controller, and two, searches within the configured Active Directory DNS domain name for an Exchange CAS server. Note, if you use the specify an Exchange server method on the UM service, Unity Connection tests ping connectivity to that specific Exchange server. The second place to test the UM configuration is at the user level. There are a couple ways to get to the user's UM account configuration page. You can either navigate to the Unified Messaging, Unified Messaging Accounts status and select the user from the list. Or you can go to Users and search the user in question and click Edit Unified Messaging Accounts. Click the test button to see the results. Since we currently have the UM service account configured to point to a specific exchange server, it displays that it successfully connected using EWS. Let's take a look at what the test shows when the search for exchange servers option is used on the UM service account instead of manually specifying. Notice the difference. Unity searched the configured Active Directory DNS domain name and was able to locate a CAS server. This CAS server was able to successfully service Unity's mailbox access request for this user. This user level test is where failures will most commonly be seen if there are configuration issues or other problems with the integration. If any of these tests fail or users report any problems with unified messaging, we need to make sure all necessary macro and micro traces are set prior to reproducing the issue. Let's cover which traces are needed. Head over to Unity Connection Serviceability Trace Macro Traces menu. Select Single Inbox Traces and click Save. We also need to set several additional micro traces. Let's step through this process under Trace Micro Traces menu. CSEWS, set all levels. CSEXMBX locator, set all levels. CSMBX sync, set levels 10 through 23. KUKA, set all levels. EWS Notify, set all levels. DB Event, set levels 3 and 12.
MTA set levels 10 through 30. Now that the traces are set, reproduce the issue, or if it's a configuration test failure, press the test button to produce the failure. There are several trace logs that now need to be gathered from RTMT for analysis. We will need Connection DB Event Publisher, Connection Jetty, Connection Mailbox Sync, Connection Message Transfer Agent, and Connection Tomcat Application. To summarize, here are the mappings between the micro traces and their corresponding RTMT log components to be gathered. Happy troubleshooting and thanks for watching.